10 o'clock, we'll begin with some breaking news, an update to a tragic story breaking out of eastern Arkansas this evening. Thank you for joining us at 10. I'm Bob Clawson. And I'm Ashley Katz. A woman is dead tonight after being shot by her 13. It's a story we first brought you at 6 o'clock. It happened in Mayberry, a small town in Woodruff County. Care to is Mitch McCoy joining us now live in Woodruff County with the very latest on this. And Mitch, what do we know about what happened? Well, Bob and Ashley, the sheriff calling this a tragedy. We are in Cotton Plant. We're about 10 minutes away from where that shooting happened. The sheriff telling me earlier tonight that that mother was shot in a driveway. The sheriff also telling me tonight that they do not know what led up to the shooting, if it was intentional or if it was an accident. The sheriff texting me about 10 minutes ago saying that the 13-year-old boy is being interviewed right now by investigators. The boy's grandfather, who called 911, also being interviewed. Sheriff Phil Reynolds says while this may be a homicide investigation, it is just too soon to know what unfolded at the home earlier this afternoon. We're relatively a quiet, peaceful county. Uh, we're real rural. It's Delta, farm ground. Um, our population is less than 7,000 countywide, and, and uh, we just we don't have no trouble here, very little. It's a very sad day in Woodruff County. This is the first homicide we've had in 2018 countywide. Um, our thoughts and prayers are with the family right now and uh, until we get this solved. Deputies say the mother was shot once and died at the scene. This all happened at the grandfather's home off County Road 790. That's in the town of Mayberry. We are told that the grandfather called 911, as I mentioned earlier. Custody of the boy, the mother lives at a home nearby on the same property as the grandfather. The boy's father lives here in Woodruff County, but not on that property. The sheriff telling me that deputies have been at that home before on various calls, not releasing exactly what those calls are, saying it's now part of an ongoing investigation. We are live in Cotton Plant. Mitch McCoy, KRK4 News. Mitch, thanks very much. And still a lot of pieces that we're trying to put together in this investigation right now. Stay with KARK as we bring you the latest here on the air and online at KARK.com.